what is worth our faith? What is it? The truth is that you have been saved to a living hope. But I'll go back to John 8 as we close for today. Let's read one more time again from verse 31. Then the Jews said, then Jesus said to the Jews who believed in him, if you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, we are Abraham's descendants and have never been in bondage to anyone. How can you say you will, you will be made free? Jesus answered, most assuredly, I say to you, whoever commits sin is a slave of sin. And a slave does not abide in the house forever, but the son abides forever. Therefore, if the son makes you free, you are free indeed. The church does not make people free. The pastor does not make people free. Who makes people free? Who? Jesus sets you free. So today, what area of your life do you want to be set free? What is it that you want to be set free from? We go to pray. And we need to go to Jesus and we need to pray today. And say, Jesus, I come. And I come to you with this. I need freedom. I need freedom from the past. I need freedom from the bondages of the past. I need freedom from this hurt that I cannot get over. I need freedom from fear. Fear of the future, fear of the unknown. But I trust that you hold the future. Jesus, I want freedom. Freedom from these habits that have bound me. And like I can look at the mirror and say, how could I ever get rid of this? I've tried. 31st December, I made a, re a resolution before the new year. I'm not going to do it. Two weeks, I'm back at it again. I need freedom from that. Jesus, I need freedom from gossip. My lips, when I open them, what I do is just talk about others. I can, I'm just saying examples of things that we need freedom from. But you know the area that you need freedom from. So let's pray. And sincerely bring it before the Lord. Say, if you believe in me, You will abide by my word. And you shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. And in John 14, Jesus says, I am the truth. 
in his hand. Amen? The Bible says, when two or more are gathered in my name, I will be among them. And he's here to give you freedom. I need freedom today. If you don't need freedom, then thank God for the freedom that you have. But if you need freedom, let's bow our heads as we pray today.